Hey guys, thanks for watching my previous video of the virtual tour around the mall. For the most part, I thought the DJI Pocket 2 did very well, but there is one issue that you may have noticed with bright objects like backlit signboards. When walking around, the camera would capture a normal, well-exposed scene. But if a lit signboard appears within the same frame, it's going to be overexposed. And this is a problem because you're going to have a hard time reading the sign. So what can be done to fix the overexposure problem? First, you could try zooming in on the bright object. When it fills the frame, the camera would be able to adjust to an appropriate exposure level. And then you could zoom out again. But if there are more than one bright object, you can only zoom in and out one at a time. Or if you can manage, you could try manual focusing on the object, which would automatically adjust the exposure. However, trying to pinpoint an object on a tiny screen is not easy. Or you could get in the pro mode and try to set the exposure manually. Although this could work for stationary scenes, I'd imagine it's not the best solution for constantly changing scenes, as five seconds later, the exposure would have to be adjusted again. And finally, the HDR mode is supposedly designed to solve the problem by shooting and combining four images of different exposure levels simultaneously. An overexposed object looks solid wide because the video signal falls beyond the dynamic range of the camera. But in HDR mode, the dynamic range is extended. After all, HDR means high dynamic range. So now the signboard is properly exposed and you can read what it says. However, as you notice, in HDR mode, the image is zoomed in and cropped. Compared to normal mode, the field of view is now only 59%, which means that the camera is only using 35% of the pixels on the sensor. So the HDR mode fixes the overexposure problem, but you lose the cinematic quality of the wide angle shot, which is not a very good trade-off. This is curious because optically, there is no reason the HDR mode should have a narrower field of view. My speculation is that DJI handicaps the HDR mode because either the chip is not powerful enough to do processing on the entire sensor or the battery would drain too fast. So let's hope that this handicap is removed in the next version of the DJI Pocket Camera. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you get something out of this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching.